Hi, I'm Chris McNichol. Uh, I'm here on the New Orleans missions and uh, an experience that really struck me. Um, so we were walking through the city of New Orleans, uh, just through the streets. Uh, we were going to get something to eat and there was um, a homeless man on the side of the road uh, begging with his hand extended. Um, you know, he had a few coins in it and he was just uh, asking for, you know, money or anything really. And uh, as we were walking by at first, you know, we didn't like we were just we had no money with us. So we were just going to keep on walking. But um, something struck me and, you know, earlier that week we had uh, seen a show called The Chosen uh, and in there there was a scene of like um, a Pharisee, you know, walking through the city of Jerusalem and there was a beggar on the side of the road, you know, just almost identical to this one uh, and they just walked on by and I remember thinking when I watched that of, you know, man, like I wish like they had stopped. You know like I was disappointed in them for doing that and so that kind of flashed through my mind like as we we're walking by and even though I had no money I just I turned to him and I was like hey you know I have no money but is, is that seat taken and he was very like welcoming like no of course sit down so you know I just plopped down next to him and you know he was just immediately struck like he, he just felt so good like he lit up and he started talking to me we had like a great conversation um, and we we're gonna give him some food and he said, no, no, I can't eat uh, before I pray. I need to pray first. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll say the prayer because I'll say the prayer because, you know, he didn't know it. Uh, so we all linked arms. Uh, we held hands and uh, I just said a few words for him. We said uh, a prayer and, you know, he, he ate some food and he was just so happy to talk to us. And I mean, uh, yeah, he was just said like how much this meant to him. Uh, but I don't think he realized how much it meant to me. So that was my experience. Yeah.